trying to get another Merriam. Last week they gave me the slip. Had that one Dom come pretty close, but just wanted when I commit into my set. So, got the one solo and decoy again today. And I can hear them gobbling. They're about a quarter mile away, I think. So, we'll see what happens. It's the opening day of shotgun season, though, so I got my 28 gauge out. Haven't shot a bird with it yet. Got it patterned in. And, uh, we'll hopefully, we'll get a good dom in here. about it for the morning set. I had those two toms about half hour after shooting and then had another one come by but he didn't come quite close enough and he went actually went up into these trees behind me and went somewhere up there or over here I don't know but I thought he was coming dead on a line right to me and just didn't do it so I'm gonna pick up and move spots and grab a few more decoys. And we'll see. I'm going to grab a Jake decoy and at least another hen. So thinking at least three decoys. We'll see if that doesn't do the trick. But i got to do something. I mean, they're obviously not impressed with this solo hen right now. Maybe a little later in the year or something. But right now they don't care. He's right behind me in the tree line, but 
Well, Turkey came in. He didn't really commit to the decoys, but you know, he came in 30 yards. That's about where the range I had my 28 gauge patterned. I shot him and he ran up behind me, but I'm pretty sure I hit him. So we're gonna, we're gonna go see if we can find him. But fingers crossed. And there he is. First Merriam's with the 28 gauge. Took him a little while to he had to, he ran off, but we got him down. He's got a about an eight inch, maybe nine inch beard, I'd guess. And spurs, oh probably inch and a quarter, at least an inch, I'd say. And nice full fan, so nice mature bird, but. 30 yards, that was about the max range I was comfortable shooting with my 28, but just, I don't know, shot a little lower, didn't get enough BBs in his head or something, and he ran off, but it worked. So there he is, turkey down, first of the year. First one down of the year. Wasn't the cleanest, but you know, they don't always just fall stone dead. Fortunately, you know, we all make mistakes, but I uh, was able to get him and only my second Merriam's ever. First one with the 28 gauge. This is actually the first bird I've ever killed with this. First turkey of 2020. Two more to go. I've got I got three tags this year, so filled the first. Gonna try to get another one with my bow. Um, third one, I don't know, maybe a 16 gauge, maybe a 12 gauge, maybe the 28 gauge again. I waited all day. This is the third, almost the third full day turkey hunt I've been on since the season started. And they've just been fooling me. They'd be, they'd show up, you know, I've seen a lot of birds. I missed one with my bow. The other ones, I, they just would stop just short or skirt me, um, unless they were hens. The hens would, of course, come right into the decoys, but nothing, none of the toms, and I haven't even seen a Jake last two weekends but they just haven't been cooperating this one came out 30 yards and like i said i didn't make the cleanest shot on him but we got him down and that's the important thing and uh two more to go but that is all i have for you guys today thank you so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did be sure to leave me a thumbs up always helps me out drop a comment let me know what your thoughts were guys how's your turkey season going let me know down below subscribe if you haven't already so you stay up to date with the latest hunting videos we'll have at least two more turkey hunts coming and be sure to go out there and support those conservation organizations, Ducks Unlimited, Delta Waterfowl, Pheasants Forever, it doesn't matter. National Wild Turkey Foundation, it doesn't matter. There's one out there for you and they do a ton of good work. So be sure to go out there and support them and we will catch you out there guys. See ya.